Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This satsang is a meeting, an opportunity for everyone to ask their questions, clear their doubts, and discuss the spiritual matters. And this is also a part of the program, the Path of Knowledge program. Ruchika is asking out of syllabus questions. Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. First is how can you understand Devi Shakti? What is the real idea? How can we accelerate in our spiritual progress by taking her grace? See, on the path of knowledge, whatever is appearing is Devi. The illusion is Devi. The experience part is Devi. Whatever we call as experience is Devi. And uh, the memory is Devi. The layered structure is Devi. The vibrations, Devi. The manifested, Devi. Unmanifested, Devi. Maya is Devi, yes. So, how to know? What is she? Open your eyes and look. That is the darshan of the Devi. Open your eyes and look. Whatever you are looking at is nothing but Devi. Whatever you are listening to, eating, smelling, bodies, worlds, Devi. You don't need to go to a temple or you don't need to project to some other world of the Devi to know what she is. She is here right now, front of your eyes. This is the real idea. Yes, you can make an uh, image of her. You can, you know, identify various kinds of energies there. The Shakti means only energy. Devi means energy. You can uh, classify them, and make pretty pictures and symbolism and all. That is possible. But uh, unnecessary. That is unnecessary. Just uh, study the illusion. When we study the illusion, we are studying the Devi. You want her grace? Yes, it is possible. There are ways to do that. There is uh, one very simple way is to be surrendered. That is the path of devotion. Devo have devotion towards Devi. Surrender to the Devi. The second is the path of the Tantra or the occult where you take favors from the Devi. For that you need a lot of knowledge and practice. Surrender needs nothing. So, according to your inclination, according to your wish, you approach the Devi like this. If you are a woman, accept the Devi. Uh, I mean, if you are a woman and you uh, take the occult path, accept the Devi as your mother. If you are a man, you can accept the Devi as your wife. That is, there are two forms that are mostly accepted. Do not try to diverge too much from the tradition. It does not work. You need a good teacher. And the teacher will tell you how to worship the Devi. There are rituals and so on, you see. But mostly it is non-physical. Mostly your practice will be non-physical. Because you will understand that the Devi does not like to be troubled in the physical form. She becomes angry when you try to manipulate the physical world. Because she has taken the pains to establish the physical world. It is the her, her greatest achievement is formation of the physical universe. That is what she has done. Now, if you want to interact with her, you know, leave the physical world alone. That is my recommendation. Do not manipulate anything here. You just worship her and go to her. Go to her in the purest form. That is the non-physical form. There, everything that you want will be granted. And like she said, uh, how to accelerate our spiritual progress. Yes, demand that. You, you uh, please the Devi and you demand her the spiritual growth, spiritual progress. She will do whatever is necessary to cause this progress. If you anger her, she will do whatever is necessary to keep you from progressing. She will actually retard your progress and send you back in the lower, <laughs> lower forms. Like he said, is it possible? Yes. You anger the Devi and she will do it. You see, you get all these powers and all by the grace of Devi. Now you start misusing them in the physical world. She will sense, sense it immediately and you will be sent to the lower worlds. You know, she won't even recycle you to the animal forms. She will take the extreme measure and you will be sent to the hellish worlds. Okay, go and do your sadhana there. She is kind of brutal in that matter. Kali form is really brutal. So, if you, you don't have a teacher, then you will make these mistakes. And if you have a teacher, there is some chance that you will <laughs> you will be given the grace of the Devi. 
So on the path of knowledge, we have a middleman. I am telling Ruchika. On the path of knowledge, we have a middleman where you don't need to deal with De- Devi directly, and that middleman is the Guru field. You can request Guru field to ask Devi to do something. The command Devi, you can say they are not command, but they have a deal with the Devi. And we won't do this thing to your worlds, but you do something for our seekers. This kind of deal is there. Your interface with the Guru field is initially your Guru. So ask your Guru. If you want spiritual progress, ask your Guru. He will do whatever is necessary. Once you grow up a little bit, you ask the Guru field. Bypass the Guru who is in the body. You see, I simply ask the Guru field nowadays. Like I said, you know, there is a Guru control room here. and there is a <laughs> direct link to the satellite link to the guru field i ask whatever i need from them and they do the processing there it appears in the world many people will see this many people will get this experience that as soon as they interact with me as soon as the wish is put there for their progress they will start appearing in their lives which means events will start happening very odd events sometimes and this is the process that we follow once you grow up you interact directly with the guru field and you if you grow up in that also you know you become a great seeker then you can approach the devi in which i help also i help you to simply you know i bring you face to face with the devi but not everybody you need to go through the path of knowledge first you see there are lot of secrets in between which nobody will come to know i can see your tendencies and i can tell you that you know what happened in your past lives and all and then i decide what should we do so interact with me open up give everything that you have to me then i'll come to know what to do with you do not try to you know simply worship the devi in the mother form or wife form do not you will fail and you will make mistakes always the best idea is always to take the help of your guru and if the guru says i belong to this path of knowledge and something i cannot do anything then you take the permission from your guru and you consult somebody who is on the occult path especially the independent kind of tantra not the dependent kind that is not suitable for somebody on the path of knowledge so probably <laughs> it was too much out of syllabus isn't it probably many people will not understand what i just said So don't worry, don't worry. Your path of knowledge is open for you. You walk on the path of knowledge, and we'll see what should we do later on. Get the basics. We'll see what can be done later on. You, right now, you concentrate on the path of knowledge. That is my advice. Okay. Number two is why Kundalini awakening experience is a completely different for one person to another. Sometimes it gets really confusing. Is it real or just made up and hyped up? See, uh, the layered structure is different for di- other uh, different people. The reason is very simple: that everybody is different, so they produce different reactions there. The same process will produce different reaction. You see, it is uh, not at all mysterious. Like uh, you uh, treat somebody badly. and you will find that everybody has a different reaction you say the same insult to 10 people and you will get 10 reactions from them some one person will walk away the other person will try to kill you the the third person will start crying fourth will become angry you see why they have a different mental makeup they have different impressions everybody is different essentially they are same but you know the manifestation is different there are layers there is a layered structure in everybody but uh, it has stored different kind of experiences you see so you uh, give the same food to all people and you will see their bodies are reacting differently to that food everybody has their own food and uh, similarly the doctors know that the same medicine will have different effects in different patients they know it very well so why not kundalini <laughs> that is the completely related to the layered structure of memory what is kundalini it is you know just a force that makes the changes in the layered structure that's all it is it is the devi as it is manifesting in the layered structure so there are certain points where she does the most work 
they are called the chakra points so we are not going to go there today and that is totally different for different people and she does exactly that which is needed and you know one side size is not going to fit all so she does exactly that sometimes you will be surprised that how much this force knows about your mind and body so what do we say when she is working surrender surrender just sit down and watch don't try to do too much so is it made up and hyped up and there are different kind of people you see some people keep it very very secret like they don't want anybody to interfere in this process and the guru also tells you not to tell anybody these people are <laughs> kind of crazy they don't know what is happening and uh, there is a me too syndrome like i call it me too syndrome in the spirituality if it is happening to somebody else it must happen to me also the expectation rises hopes rises like this he saw a snake i did not see a snake now i should go and hunt for a snake my life is not complete if i don't see a snake <laughs> so the crazy people here and they they make up these things they make up the stories a tiny bit happens to them and they cook up spice it up imagine things so if you are not under a guru you will find people talking like this this happened to me and that happened to me and so on you see devi came in my dream when she did, did this and, and it's all just useless talk those who are really serious about the kundalini practice they don't say even one word they don't say it because you know the nature of the devi she likes privacy she likes secrecy if you make a story and you know tell it to everybody it become the gopi krishna of the modern time no 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 she will become angry who should know what is she doing you and your guru nobody else not your family nobody nobody so yes yeah. when i see this kind of disaster happening i can only slap my head only you see because these people don't listen to me also you have a guru no i am doing the kundalini practice and she is doing it why are you telling me then i am not your guru also so very bad situation there which is asking kundalini awakening you see it is already awakened what you call kundalini awakening is only kundalini quickening quickening she becomes quicker she becomes faster and you know it is awake in everybody dev is present and she is active without activity will be all dead satya is saying most of today's famous non duality direct path teachers are of the lineage of trinity raman maharshi nisardat maharaj and atman and krishna menon all three wore religious marks the holy ash traditional advaitins always worship deities also in other non dual traditions like sant mat said they all had devotion to the gurus if not a deity a little lamp could you explain does it mean devotion bhakti in some form is essential well human nature is the explanation human nature and i don't think that they have only three lineages there are many you see the dashnami tradition is the biggest in the world whenever you see swami written in front of somebody's name that is dashnami tradition fa- founded by adi shankara acharya that is the greatest biggest and they don't they don't you know relate to raman maharshi or anybody you mentioned you see they are the keepers of the non dual knowledge swami tradition you can call them swami tradition if you want and there are 10 kinds they have a surname in front of them by that surname you can recognize the which one of the 10 paths they are uh, groups they are in the path is same groups are different so traditions were made and to identify the, their own tradition like the cricket teams you know one team is blue and the other team is green and the other team is red so they made the teams and they have this markings and um, you are going to wear the orange clothes and these people they will be black clothes and these monks they will be maroon and yellow so they have their own traditions and that is just to have this team spirit in them maybe and these uh, marks you call them religious marks nothing to do with religion <laughs> nothing to do with religion they are ritualistic in india we don't have any religion there is no religion here there is no god here there is no worship here there are only paths 
only different paths most of the paths are atheistic so whatever they are doing they are doing it for a purpose not to please some god or goddess they are worshiping deities yes that is also part of the tradition that i recommend you know there are some people can't let go of the old oh, i have this temple in my house and i worship all these deities and I, i i want to worship i feel very nice i say okay okay worship you know nothing wrong in that realize that it is an illusion and worship the illusion you know who is stopping you but then i say okay okay put uh, the photo of a traditional guru there whomever you like or put picture of him and put a picture of or a statue of saraswati there i recommend saraswati worship her she is going to help you so no problem at all they are symbolic in nature so it depends on the tradition you know whom they worship we worship saraswati if you want to worship otherwise don't even pay attention to these things it's totally unnecessary what is worship on the path of knowledge you just say thank you that is the worship you just ask for the cooperation support you say thank you do not ask for gold or or jobs or children or marriages do not <laughs> saraswati won't give you all these things there there are different forms for if you want worldly if you want to fulfill your worldly desires you have spiritual desires yes then these deities can help you and mostly it is the master who who is worshiped like you said devotion to the guru yes because master is your life jacket here in this sea of ignorance the only boat that you have that will take you to the shore is your guru no i am totally against worship of the guru that day somebody called me holy master and i was kind of <laughs> thrown off completely so no we need not worship the guru we need to use the guru and then you have some respect for the guru that is all do not print out the photo of the guru and you know start putting the incense in front of them and uh, don't 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 do that it is not recommended those who are who are doing it they are lost they are lost now you can worship the devi this it seems natural you are worshiping worshiping somebody who has a human body that feels unnatural what happens is the, the fake ones they like it a lot the fake gurus like this guru worship a lot and they will make their devotees or students worship themselves that is why i am totally against it if your guru is alive no no need to even give him anything that is strictly followed in some traditions like sikh tradition where the guru in the body is totally is to be discarded completely i don't know how they manage them so th- these things happen because of the craziness of people it is not a part of the tradition we do not worship gurus as soon as you say you call me more than guru ji or something i am going to you know ban you from the satsang i'm totally against this thing you know it has been misused so much in india the guru worship is misused so much that there are cults now there are terrorist groups in the name of gurus and who knows what is going on so does it does the devotion bhakti is essential no you see surrender is essential you need to be surrendered to the knowledge you should have this willingness to listen that is the only devotion that is expected do not treat your guru like a god you know i mean he he is important but uh, should should be there should be line between these things yeah you should should draw a line should not cross that line it was a nice satsang and i hope everybody enjoyed it everybody got their answers and hopefully you are enjoying the program also and i'll meet you next time thank you very much for att- attending the meeting